so basically here with all these fins here the cross member is broken as you can see here and there used to be a threaded I got it a threaded rod that came up through would go through the top of this as it would all sit like that well we can't fix it because there's no I don't know how to weld aluminum we, we'd have to get a new one a whole new, new piece one. and yeah. we don't have time for that so what we're so, gonna do is put a bolt through here to plug that hole with a rubber washer yeah when we get around when get we get around out. to it to keep water from going in but what I'm going to do is drill three holes that I've piloted put springs on to hold it down oh, okay yep. nice so, so we're gonna start that right now I'm gonna go find some more uh, a rubber washer and bolt Just like that. Yep. It's yeah. Gonna work. Oh, on this side. Oh shoot! Did you have to put that through first or no? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's right. Yeah. It's just a spring. Yep. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up underneath here, cut the bottom first, and I'm gonna latch onto here, bring it up. Nice. Hook it through the top. That yeah. way you have something to grab onto. Take them, take it off. Yeah. Nice. Well, basically, what we did to fix the cap for the air intake, is we took a rubber plug and a uh, bolt, thread it through there, and put a locking nut and washer on top of that, and cinched it right down. To hold the water out, keep it watertight, so we don't have any water in the in the intake canister like we did when we took it apart. And the only reason why we're doing it like this is because haying season's coming up. We don't have a lot of time to wait for parts to get in here to order them, so we're gonna make do what we can. Here we go. Back of the canister top, can't cap, says top. Make sure the arrows and the word top are up top. Put this rubber cup, bowl, or whatever you want to call it on. Oh. Set it on. Easy peasy. Line up this rib with the center of the clamp and just. together. 